I think the people hearing that Mike Tyson is scared to death, um, it's kind of reminiscent of, of the last Rocky movie, right? He goes, I'm scared to death. Champ, aren't you afraid? I'm afraid of nothing. Uh, yeah, well, okay, that, that didn't work out. Did you feel that fear or that maybe it's a sense of failure or potential failure all your career? No, it's, um, it's a sign of victory. Because, and that helped drive you always, through all of those matches, all those absolutely. wins you had? I always, I always believe the adversity, I always believe the adversity or nervousness, it like pretty much catapulted me into success. Right. If I didn't have these so, feelings, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. Yeah, I, I, I hope you don't have those feelings of fear about me one day because I don't really feel like getting in the ring with you. Uh, one one of those Mike Mike Tyson left hooks is gonna you know put, I knock me fight right you back either, to. Sean. I don't want to fight you <laughs> Thank either. You. Well, you know Jim Gray, a mutual friend, uh, actually started our friendship, stuttering. and and what a great guy he is. And this is what he says about you. He says you're the, the nicest ever. guy on earth. Nicest guy, one of the nicest people he ever met. And I read something. I, I know I'll talk a little bit about your business. You've gotten into the, the weed edible business, and you actually have, you know, yeah. <laughs> you call it Mike's Bites. It's shaped like an ear, obviously referring to Evander Holyfield and the yeah. fight you had back then. Yeah. And this is what you said that really interested me. You said that it makes you a different person. And you want to offer this medicinal help to others looking for emotional and physical relief. This is medicinal for you, correct? Absolutely. And not only myself, but many, many millions and millions and hundreds of million people on the planet. Yeah. You actually said if, if I don't use it for a week or three days... You're a totally different person, and this is what you said about yourself. You're not a likable person. What, what happens if, if you don't have the medication? I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with my tripolar um, <sighs> tendencies or something, but I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight, and I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. Uh, I don't know if irritable and nasty might actually help you in the ring. Um, you know, maybe a pissed off Mike. Let, let me ask you this. So you're, you're launching this new line. Is this something you would even, would you take this before the fight, for example? Normally I do. But at this particular fight, I think I'm going to go pretty raw and, you know, naked.